to you by Corning, makers of Corningware cookware, Centura tableware, and Pyrex brand products. And now, let's all play What's My Line? Meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now, you are very used to seeing us on the panel and John Daly here for the past 16 years, but this is the first time that a gentleman who, with his partner, has appeared on a panel that he is responsible for, the co-producer of this particular program. And hardly anyone can speak of their bo bosses with the deep affection we speak of him, Mr. Mark Goodson. Uh, this is my panel debut tonight, and I have a fellow debutante. Uh, I'm pleased to introduce her for three great reasons. First, because she is a movie immortal, an Academy Award winner and a great star. She's breaking all uh, box office records in Hello, Dolly! on Broadway. And she is the cousin of my favorite leading lady, Phyllis Cerf, Miss Ginger Rogers. And we all have our kissing cousins, and I have mine, whom I adore, just back from California, Mr. Bennett, sir. At home, Ginger's known as my extra dividend. I got her when I married Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as you're, Ginger, you're in on a very interesting experiment tonight because we want to see if John Daly will try the same obfuscating tactics that he's deviled us with every Sunday night for 16 years when the boss, Mark Goodson, is around. So we'll find out right now whether he's going to be the same old John Daly. And here he is, John Charles Batman Daly. <laughs> As already been noted, this is our 803rd telecast, I guess you call it. It's the 16th anniversary of What's My Line, the beginning of our 17th year, and as you know, it's kind of old home week, and it's a particular kind of old home week for us. We think of Ginger as a member of the family. She's been with us many times. And we've had uh, Mark Goodson and Bill Tardman backstage many, many times, but never had one of them on the firing line. Mark, it's lovely to see you there Thank where we can know. get a shot at you. And uh, we've got some very interesting occupations to give you some trouble with. You may even be sorry you ever thought up this little program before the <laughs> night's over. And uh, we'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the program. But now let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Verda. Mac Cartney, right? Is it uh, Miss or Mrs. McCartney? Mrs. Mrs. McCartney, where are you from? Marengo, Illinois. Marengo, Illinois. Yes. All righty, nice to have you with us. I think I heard a small hint that you've got some friends from Illinois in the audience. And Mrs. McCartney, may I present our panel? Will you join me over here now, please? And uh, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. All right. Panel, we can tell you that Mrs. McCartney is salaried 
and deals in a product, and we are going to begin the general questioning with Mark Goodson. Thank you, John. Uh, Mrs. McCartney, uh, I want to say before I start, John, that I'm sort of in a dilemma because I can't win tonight. If I do badly, people will think I'm stupid, and if I do well, they'll think that I have all the answers. <laughs> I think you stated the case beautifully. That's right. <laughs> Mrs. McCartney, this product, is it used by both men and women? Yes, it is. Uh, it's a product which I might use. Yes. Uh, is it a product which I could hold in my hand? Yes. Uh, is, it a, is it a product which, uh, when used, comes in contact with the body? <laughs> We would have to agree that in a manner of speaking, when it's used, it has a tendency to come in contact with the body. Yeah. And we would say, of course, that in the use of it, we would uh, agree there would be some contact in the application of the uh, product itself to its uh, basic purpose. May I, may I assume that this product is not living? No. Yeah, yes, you may assume my that it is not. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, this product does come in contact, other than the hands, well, we would have to agree, Mark, that if it fulfilled its, its uh, purpose, that it would come in contact with the body. I'm sure on the other side that's very clear. Uh, uh, does it come in contact with the body from the waist up? Well, that makes it a very difficult question to answer. Um, I guess to the degree that you could describe it coming in contact with the body, it is possible it could come in contact with the body, uh, the waist yeah. up. Yeah, I guess yeah. If, if there was one there, yeah. yeah. Is this product solid as opposed to liquid? Yes. It is. May I assume that it's not something that you would eat or drink? Yes. Yeah. Huh? Uh, comes in contact with the body in a way, as it, and it comes in contact above the waist. Well, what we are, no, what we meant to convey is that it, uh, it could, you know, if there was one, so to speak. <laughs> if there was well, a body? That's all I care to say at this time. <laughs> I think I've been on long enough, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> right. uh, Ginger? Is this product uh, used mostly outdoors? No. No, I wouldn't think so. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. McCartney, could this product in any sense be called apparel or something to wear? No. no. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Is the product solid? Yes. yes. Is it, uh, there's quite a lot of laughter about the fact of the waste. Is it possible that perhaps this is used on uh, something where the waste is somewhat indetermined? You they, can't be too sure where the waist is. I think you put that very well. You put that very well, yeah. If you can't be too sure where the waist is, it must be something other than a human being that this is used on. Yes. Yeah, very good. Clever. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting next to you. Is this product used on an animal? Yes. Is it used on a four-legged animal? Yes. Is it uh, something uh, that circles the animal when it is in use? I mean, it doesn't have to close, you understand. But does it go around the animal rather than on its foot or on its head? Well, um. this might be the last anniversary, the way things are going. <laughs> uh, well, I guess in, if in a very general way, we would agree that it could. It could. Mm -hmm. well. yeah. Is the product made of leather? No. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Goods. Let me just find out about the animal, if I can. Uh, is the product that you make made specifically for one kind of animal as opposed to some other? Yes. Uh, is, and the, is the animal a domestic animal? No. No, not a domestic animal. No. No, I don't think so, no. That's four down, four down and six. To go, well, this is, is a little bit difficult because, um, let me have a small conference. <laughs> Mark, we want to be fair with you, you particularly. <laughs> Get back here, Card. Get back here. That's the boss. Why uh, after the board, eh? Yeah, we would have to say that the, uh, uh, it's possible that there is a, a domestic um, relationship. In, 
It's possible as a domestic relationship? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you mean the animal's married? Well, let me, uh, uh, is this an animal which might then be found in a zoo? Well, you could find him in a zoo, yes, I guess. Yes, yeah. I'm on the wrong track again. Uh, uh, is this animal in the uh, bovine family? No, oh, I don't know the bovines. I'm afraid not. That's four down and six to go. Ginger? Does this animal have any fur? Yes. Fur. Uh, I, I think here we've got a problem. The animal has the problem. Do you think a horse has fur? Hair, I believe. But you don't hold a horse, horse to have hair. fur. Horse hair. Horse hair. I think we have to give you a no on that. I'd probably get my ears cracked for this one. <laughs> five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Well, knowing Mr. Daly's tactics, can I rule out a horse? <laughs> You said it was not a domestic animal. No, we said that there, it is possible that there are some of this species that would be considered domestic. We don't would say that. Would this animal ever be found in the African or Brazilian jungle? <laughs> I, I, well, I, I would just say here we have to take a refuge into the very general statement that. You don't know. that uh, not having been there recently, we would assume it's possible. Is that all right, well, may, well, may I may I now do something about the size of this animal? Is it smaller than a dog? Yes. Would it come into the insect or bug family? No. Rodent. No. Insect or bug? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. I'm going to give you one more minute. Now, it's smaller than a dog, and you, I believe, earlier on said it had four legs. Am I correct about mm -hmm. that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you said it had hair rather than fur. That's my impression. <laughs> Is it an animal that has any parts that are ever eaten? Seven Some down. of us eat anything, John. <laughs> Seven down to three to go, Mark. From the disgusting laughter. Must be uh, a monkey. No, may, may, may I ask if it had if it's in the rat or mouse family? Ah. Very good. Ah, yes. Uh, is it something that well you do do something for mice or rats? This this thing goes on mice or rats. In a manner of speaking, it goes on. In uh, <laughs> cages or uh, things that they uh, the the wheels they run around the mice run around they, no 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 but you're close i'm gonna i'm gonna say that you've got it i'll throw all the cards over because i think mark actually got it because what mrs mccartney does is to make mouse traps <laughs> mrs mccartney is with the uh, mcgill metal products company in marengo and they are one of the two largest makers Right? You make many of what, four or five million mouse traps a year? Very many, yes. You know, four or five million mouse traps a year. <laughs> John, you didn't hear me say rodents, did you? I heard you say rodent, but that was after you got your no, Bennett. Oh, you, you know, and, dog. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> you uh, must understand over here on this end of the table, we hardly ever saw a mouse wear a mouse trap. Did you not say this was worn? Nope. Nope. Or we you specifically did not say that. said it was not worn. Well, Went around the waist. We, you were asked if it encircled oh, it, and we said, part of the mouse yeah. and we got, you know, trouble yeah, with right. the waist. I don't know, does a, do mice have waists? <laughs> well, let's not waste any more time on that anyway, shall we? Oh, uh, Bennett's been in California for two weeks, I got one in. I hope you had fun. We had a lot of fun I with your mouse trap. Nice to have you with us. contestant for you in just a moment after this word. And now to meet our next challenger, will you enter and sign in, please? <laughs> Rosemary Smith. Right, ma'am? Is it Miss or Mrs. Smith? Miss. Miss Smith. Where are you from, ma'am? 
Dublin in Ireland. Dublin in Ireland. Well, nice. <laughs> All right, Miss Smith, may I present the panel? And now, if you join me over here, please, uh, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> I can tell you that Miss Smith is salaried and deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Cerf. Miss Smith, have you anything whatever to do with show business? And if not, why not? <laughs> no. 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 One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Well, of course, Bennett asked that question because you are a, are a very attractive uh, young lady, and uh, one would think that, therefore, since you are so pretty, and since you are done up so attractively, that the reason for all the laughter must be because you do something quite unlike what you look like. Is that possible? Yes. Ordinarily, on the job that you have, you would not look like you do tonight? I try. <laughs> but, but you're speaking now about garb and so yes. forth, we would agree, yes. Yes. Do you do something that requires some dexterity? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you work out of doors, Miss Smith? Yes. Do you handle any uh, uh, mechanism that has wheels? Yes. Uh, it, does it have anything to do with the um, locomotion? Yes. Are you in it when it is operating, Miss Smith? Yes. Is it on the land rather than in the air? Yes. Uh, does it, um, is it larger than the ordinary automobile that you handle? No. No, that's two down and eight to go. Mark good. I don't know what you do, uh, Miss Smith. But you Smith. want to go with it. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to come to America and uh, join Goodson and Tata? <laughs> There is no product, is that right, John? You said there was no, no product. No, we, yeah. we didn't, actually, we didn't identify a product. We just agreed that Miss Smith right. deals in a service. Well, Arlene has beautifully established that you, that you deal with some kind of vehicle. It is a vehicle, yes. and it moves around. Is it uh, some kind of automobile? Yes. Uh, is it a, uh, uh, I assume that you, may I assume that you work for some kind of profit-making company? Yes. You do. Uh, do you drive a car? Uh, uh, that is a little different from uh, a regular uh, car that anybody might drive? Sometimes. Does it ever go very fast? Sometimes. Sometimes. Are you with, uh, sometimes it goes fast. Do you uh, test drive very fast vehicles? Sometimes. <laughs> Actually, Mark, you've about got it. Just say, put it in the simplest possible terms that you have in your mind. I would say she's a... Test, fast card, uh, uh, test driver. What did you say, Ginger? Test, test driver. She no, when you said something else a moment ago. I've got to throw these all over. Well, racing car. Driver. Racing <laughs> driver, that's it. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And a very remarkable, the outstanding woman driver of 1965, won seven rallies. Actually, uh, we raced in, in Holland in a rally in which I think it was 170... 173 started and, and uh, 13 finished. 13 what kind of, finished. What kind of a car do you drive? Well, uh, she's employed by Roots Cars, you know, a division of Chrysler, and it's, it's a, a Sunbeam Alpine. Does these rallies, came here for the, uh, the rally down at uh, Daytona Beach last, uh, last week. Yes, yeah. I came over as um, a member, actually, of the Ring Free Motor Oil Racing Team, and we drove a Sunbeam Alpine because now Roots are connected, or should I say Chrysler are connected with Roots. Um, and this is why I'm here now. What do you find uh, more terrifying, television or race driving? Uh, Neither one? Neither one, really. Neither one. <laughs> oh, wonderful. But are you going back, to, do you do a lot of driving at home in, in Ireland? No, very little in Ireland. I do mostly on the continent and in England. But, but now I'm, I'm hoping, because of this Chrysler tie-up, that I'll be doing a lot here in America. Well, so. I must say we hope so, too, because John, it'll be John, wonderful. Ginger just whispered to me something. Would, you are... would she like to appear in Hello, Dolly? <laughs> <laughs> she's good, but she's beautiful. Not she good. sure is. <laughs> You, uh, I, I think that uh, you uh, need to be congratulated on uh, 
uh, your skill as a racing driver, but even more on what is transparently uh, the, the loveliness and beauty that you bring. And thank you for bringing uh, it to see thank us. You very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first this... And now the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which the panel is always blindfolded. And the blindfold's in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? As you know, different form of questioning, one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin with Ginger Rogers. From the sound of that uh, wonderful reception, I would say that this was a very beautiful young lady. <laughs> That's one down and nine to go. <laughs> well, that is it, a very beautiful young man. <laughs> uh, I guess I won't count any questions. No, we won't count that. All right. Uh, are you in show business? Hey, yes, I am. Miss Brent. Are you in the theater? Hey, yes, I am. Mr. Goodson. <coughs> are you primarily a, uh, a performer? Hey, yes, I am. Miss Rogers. Are you um, mostly known for your... Um, Stage? Work? Aye, that's what I'd say. Mr. Sir. Do you ever uh, have anything to do with music in the way of dancing or singing? Yes. Miss Francis. Is it primarily singing? Yes. Mr. Goods. Are you uh, appearing now in the New York area? Hey, that I'm not. That's two down a day to go, Miss Wright. Is it my time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, are you um, preparing for a, a play here in New York right now? Hey, that I'm not. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Do you ever do your singing in nightclubs or hotel rooms? Hey, occasionally. Miss Francis. I think he must do them in Dublin. <laughs> That I've done. <laughs> yeah, that mouse girl. Uh, yes. Are you uh, are you also uh, someone who has appeared on television with great success? I've appeared on television, <laughs> Mr. Good. <laughs> are you known by most people as a singer primarily? I that I am, Miss Rogers. Are your um, records? Uh, some of the songs that you have also written as well as recorded? Uh, that's true. Uh -huh. You got a clue, didn't you? Uh, is your first name Mel? That'll make it four down and six to go. Actually, I've used the time badly. And I mean, so can I take a whack at this? Yeah, take a whack. Written and sung? Yeah. I'm going to take a wild stare. Yeah. May I? Harry yeah. Belafonte? Yeah. On television, with uh, probably, well, I guess the show that is more anticipated than anything in television for yes. some time, be a week from tomorrow night. Okay. But he was on the cover of Life, and it's it's a great show, The Strolling Twenties. But he's the producer; he's not the performer in this case. You've got Sammy Davis and Duke Ellington, and who else is Sidney Poitier and Diane Carroll. Oh, well, that was a wonderful spread in Life. Congratulations! Everybody should get excited about that. I'm excited. And just back from Africa, where he was working with the Peace Corps. And thank you for giving us some time, Harry. It's thank nice you. to have you with us. <laughs> well, I must say, you all get uh, good marks tonight. We gave you a rough time, but you get some congratulations. We'll all be back after this word.
And so, having used all the time up with the panel's permission, and congratulations to both Ginger and Mark, you were both great, <laughs> may I say uh, good night for the whole gang. And thanks for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Cotton. Johnny Olson.